Jamie, writing for the 11th Doctor instead of the 10th Doctor is a really interesting question because when I started writing the interactive games, um, I hadn't actually really seen anything of, the, of, of, of Matt Smith's Doctor. So you're kind of imagining it and, and, and playing catch-up to some extent. Uh, and, and actually, it's the trap that you fall into is because as soon as you start typing the Doctor and you start hearing what he's saying, if you haven't seen Matt playing it, part of your brain is still playing it with David playing it. So it's really difficult to get out of that sense. And that's the problem. And you just kind of have to wipe the Tenth Doctor from your mind and concentrate on this, this is a new guy. And it helps if you've got pictures of the, of the new Doctor with you, which I did. And that kind of concentration makes you thinking about that Doctor. Hi, William. Uh, 1963, why did I set this story there? Well, largely because it's a really iconic date for Doctor Who, because 1963 was when the Doctor started, when the show originally started with William Hartnell. So, as the, we'd never done a, an episode like this, an interactive episode, it just seemed like a great idea to go back to 1963 and start it from there. Something. There's no mistake, this is 1963. But how? What or, or who could have done this? Something with the power to alter time. Harry, when I was writing the stories for the interactive games, I actually really kind of thought about them just exactly the same way I would think about them as stories for telly. Um, because it was really important that these games felt like episodes of the TV show that you would sit down and watch that just the difference is that at certain points you take over and start actually working the Doctor. You are the Doctor for these points. So in actual fact, I kind of really thought about it in exactly the same way. And the stories all have a beginning, a middle and an end, just the way that, that a, sh a show on TV would have. Um, the great thing is though, um, whereas if I was writing for a TV show, um, there would be certain points where I'd put an obstacle in the Doctor's way, and I would then have to think of a way up to get around that in the game, that now becomes your responsibility because that's where the gameplay is. So, hope you enjoy that. Come on. Hi Paul, glad you like Dreamland. I enjoyed it immensely. And I went straight off from Dreamland to start writing the adventure games. But I don't think you're gonna find any of the characters from Dreamland turning up in those. However, some of them might show up somewhere else. Hi Lillian, how do I come up with my scary ideas? I'm a very scary person. <laughs>